Thanks for logging on to InsidePunch.com. I'm Sergeant Sexy, and I am proud to announce we've officially teamed up with the esteemed professors of Roberto Travis. Yes, InsidePunch.com presents to you the arsenal, where you can log on every single week and learn a brand new Brazilian jiu-jitsu move taught to you by none other than the professors themselves. <laughs> student uh, Tim um, we're gonna go over a pass this week um, and in terms of passing there are a lot of different types of guards you're seeing now you got open guard you got spider guard you got 50 50 guard you got delegate guard there are tons of guards out there and a lot of people forget most of the time there's a closed guard somewhere in that before you start so it's when you get in that position that again just like last week's tripod sweep this week's pass is just a standard two-arm pass but I want to make sure that everyone's getting some details about that pass and the mechanics behind it so that that way it's like, you know, you're putting those details into your game and that way you're less likely to miss the position, all right? So let's go over this uh, two-arm under closed guard pass, real basic setup. So we start, of course, in the closed guard position, all right? Now, in later subsequent techniques, we might, I might address some details about my preference on the foot position, but for now, you want to make sure that you have that good posture. You don't want your opponent pulling you down or breaking your posture. If you do, everything starts with recovering that posture back, okay? So what I'm going to do is start to start with is I'm going to take both his collars, get one grip, and just like a door handle, I'm going to rotate my hand so that the butt of my fist is pushing down into his sternum. Now, I'm not going to commit all of my weight or start to pick my hips up to drive that down, but I want him to feel some weight against his chest, okay? Where does my next hand go? My next hand's gonna grab, it can grab the belt, it's perfectly fine, but we notice during the match, or during your rolling or training in your academy, you're gonna notice that this belt's gonna shift around a little bit, so I've started to pr prefer to grab here, right at the pants, all right? So I'm finding not only just the pants, I'm finding his hip bone, okay? He's got his pelvis here, I want right on the top of that to put some pressure down, okay? Now, this foot, this knee that's on the same side as the hand that I'm grabbing, is gonna go right on his tailbone, and notice how it adjusts my body. Now, I'm not gonna leave my arm extended. I got a nice little bend in it, and I'm still trying to put some weight. This foot that was on the ground, this leg that was on the ground, now the foot is gonna come straight up, boom. Now you'll notice his, it extends a little bit, and his guard just opens up. That's all the space I need. Get used to feeling that position when he has his guard closed. I put my foot up, boom. As soon as I feel that, those feet snap apart, the arms come back. As soon as I feel that, because any momentary delay is gonna allow him to put foot on hips, grab some grips on the sleeves, and begin to work, okay? We don't want that. So, I'm gonna bring both hands back, swim them under. Now, a important thing people usually do when they get here is they go in and they try to start diving here. Well, this is kind of counterproductive because uh, your opponent still has his hips on the, on the mat. So even if I try to dive, he can hip skate. He can move his hips, he can shrimp and get away. All right, so my first position, once I get my two arms under, is actually to grab my own hands and lift to bring my knees under his hips. Now, he's got a little less mobility because he doesn't have the mat and I have a little bit of a leverage advantage, okay? We're gonna go back to the collar now. I'm gonna open his collar and reach my hand in. I don't wanna reach too high to the neck. I don't wanna reach super low across his stomach. I wanna come pretty much straight across his sternum, all right? Now, here's the problem that most people have and it's really bad on those guys that you see with really bad cauliflower ears, okay? What they tend to do is leave their head here and try to dive in and work the pass, okay? Most people, including me, have a really heavy head, but my chest is even more heavy, so that's what I'm gonna use to apply the weight and the pressure. I'm gonna put my chest in and my head is up. Now, I don't have to dig. I don't have to reach for this other leg. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is rotate my chest. His leg comes out of the way and I stabilize my pass. Notice I still have the grip here, and my other hand, very important, my other hand is gonna come 
and play post on the mat to protect me from his hip, and I stabilize my pass. Very easy to do. All right, so one more time, just to make sure that all the details were hit. I'm here on top of close guard, good posture position. Two lapels go onto one hand. I make a good, strong, heavy, uh, heavy grip here. I take my grip on the pants and push down, post my knee on the back. Now what I do is I take this back leg, rotate it up, and rotate my body. As I rotate his guard, you'll feel it open. I immediately bring my hands back and circle them under the leg. I grab with my own hand, lift, so that my knees now tuck under his hip. All right, now I'm gonna open his collar again. Reach directly across the sternum. Grab, again, I'm not gonna dive forward with my hand. I'm gonna dive with my chest up onto that leg. I'm, look, I'm taking my head out of the way, rotating my body, and I pass nice and smooth. I stabilize right here at the hip, okay? So, it's not a super, super complex technique this week, everyone, but learn to appreciate the basic, basic guard passes. They'll get more advanced. We'll go into a couple of other things later on, but right now, make sure that you're applying that proper pressure and you're not over committing your weight on the pass, all right? So that's this week at InsidePunch.com slash the Arsenal. Check out next week's technique. And then again, if you have any questions, check out the blog. Feel free to leave a comment or shoot me a message on Facebook.com.